The aging process is often associated with a decline in cognitive function. That can include things like memory, uh, attention, reaction time, and the speed of processing information. And about 22% of people over the age of 70 do have some form of mild cognitive impairment. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is review the association between physical activity, exercise, muscle strength, and brain health, particularly with regard to mild cognitive impairment. Hi, I'm Dr. Edmund Kleeman. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in New York City. I specialize in sports medicine and arthroscopic surgery. Mild cognitive impairment is significant because 30% of older adults who have mild cognitive impairment are at risk for going on to develop dementia. And that's versus only about 1% to 2% of older adults going on to get dementia if they don't have mild cognitive impairment. And so it's very important for us to be able to assess and identify older adults who have mild cognitive impairment or at risk of getting mild cognitive impairment to try to intervene before it goes on to developing dementia. Well, one method for identifying people at risk for mild cognitive impairment is assessing their muscle strength. And one simple way to do that is by assessing their hand grip strength. And I've discussed in other videos how that could be a proxy for overall muscle strength. And so there was a meta-analysis of about 180,000 people, and they assessed their hand grip strength. And they found that those who were in the lowest third of strength had about a 40 to 60% higher risk of developing mild cognitive impairment compared to those who had the strongest hand grip strength. Even a very small decrease in hand grip strength can have a significant impact on the risk for developing mild cognitive impairment. For example, there was a study of 190,000 adults from what was called the UK Biobank, and these people had an average age of 57. And they found that just a 5 kilogram decrease in hand grip strength was associated with a 10% worse odds of those people responding correctly to a memory test. And there are structural changes in the brain that occur as people get older that are associated with cognitive decline. And there was a study of about 400 people and they looked at their hand grip strength and they also did neuroimaging, like looking at an MRI of the brain. And what they found was those people who had the weakest hand grip strength, okay, those people had a smaller whole brain volume. As people get older, there's very often just associated overall loss of muscle mass and muscle strength, and we call that sarcopenia. And so there have been two meta-analyses that have looked at over 10,000 people and have found that older adults who have this sarcopenia, again, loss of muscle volume and strength, have a two-fold increased risk of having a mild cognitive impairment as compared to those people who do not have sarcopenia. Exercise is one very important lifestyle choice that has been demonstrated to reduce the risk of developing mild cognitive impairment. For example, there was a study of 2,700 women with an average age of 83, and they had no dementia at the time. And what the study found was that the most active women had about a 30 to 40% less likelihood of having cognitive impairment compared to those who were not active. And what about people who, let's say, were not physically active? Can they turn it around, become physically active, and help stay away cognitive impairment? And the answer appears to be yes. So here again, there was another study that looked at this. Now this study had about 9,000 women who were over the age of 65, and they recorded those people's activity levels at the age of 30 and 50. And they found that if those people at 30 who were not active, but switched things up, and by the time they were 50 were being active, they had about a 50% lower risk or odds of having cognitive impairment compared to those people who were physically inactive at 30 and remained inactive even when they were 50. There are several theories and reasons why we think that being physically active and maintaining muscle strength will reduce the risk of cognitive impairment. So the first one is that exercise has been shown to increase cerebral blood flow, that's meaning blood flow to the brain. Number two, exercise has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body, which is also important for brain health. And number three, by doing physical activity, increasing muscle strength has been shown to increase certain proteins, for example, one that's called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. You don't have to remember that name, but basically it's a protein that's very important for helping the brain generate 
what's called neurogenesis, new brain cells. And so these are three reasons or theories why we think that exercise is very important for maintaining brain health. Well, let's wrap up this video and go over a few key points. Number one, physical activity and exercise are critical for helping reduce the risk of developing mild cognitive impairment. Number two, include strength training as part of your exercise routine. Number three, hand grip strength is a very simple tool that we can use to assess muscle strength. And finally, number four, having a low hand grip strength is an indication for an increased risk of developing mild cognitive impairment. So, very important, maintain your strength and do those exercises. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the like button below and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in my next video or in my office.